Hey everyone, so it's Sunday, <laughs> attractive, um, it's Sunday, October 30th, 2018 at, um, 7.56 p.m. And I, like, the last, okay, I haven't made, like, an overall mental health video, I guess, in, like, a minute. I think the last one I did maybe was when I was <laughs> really manic like a couple months ago, which is a hoot. Like 10 out of 10, highly suggest watching it. I don't remember what it's called, but I am very manic and I am describing what it's like having a manic episode. I think it is really well done. I added some really great special effects. Um, but no, it perfectly uh, encapsulates what it is like having a manic episode and what that looks like uh, in me. Um, but yeah, there's... I don't even know that I can say there's some stuff that's been going on necessarily, but I just like, I feel like I haven't really had like a heart to heart with y'all in, in a minute. I mean, mostly, so like I had a really bad manic episode, probably honestly my longest lasting, I don't know if I want to say the worst, maybe the worst, but I'm going to for sure use the superlative, the longest lasting um, of my life manic episode that lasted about two months. It was horrific. Um, it was awful. I mean, there's no other words to describe it. I, I felt so out of control. I mean, it started with literally one night, one night not getting enough sleep. I stayed up until 6.30 in the morning and then it was just a goddamn downhill fall from grace from there. And it just, it took on so many like different colors. It like started off as like hypersexuality. That's how like I knew that it turned into mania because like the hypersexuality came in and then that was gone after I want to say like, uh, like four or five days and then it just turned into like, you, you know, like staying up really late until like six in the morning and then I don't even remember, but it was just two months of just complete fuckery. Um, then... Uh, I would wake up every morning at 4.30 in the morning and that was just my schedule. And literally, I kid you not, I want to say two weeks ago, like I stopped being manic, whatever, like let's say like a month ago. But even after not being manic, I was waking up at 4.30 in the morning, excuse me, every single day. That was my... It was just like my body clock was set up to wake up at 4.30. I started drinking coffee when I was manic because I was just getting up so early in the morning and that's like how my day was working. I like bought a $20 like single coffee maker because like the deli down the road was selling like coffees for like $3 and I was like, well, I'm going to be spending $3 on coffee. Like I might as well just buy like a $20 coffee maker you know, like that's seven coffees and I just, you know what I mean? Like, why not live your best life? Um, so that was really difficult. That was a really not fun time in my life. Um, it affected my romantic relationship with my boyfriend at the time who unfortunately I'm no longer dating. Um, so I am once again single can't that's super great can't wait to get back into the dating pool as a transgender gender fluid human being with multiple mental illness that's gonna be just like a total breeze especially like in New York where you think dating would be really easy when in reality it's actually 
not at all. It's really not at all because like half of dating websites are like, like actors headshots. Why bro? Nobody wants to see that. Like congratulations that you're in Dear Evan Hansen and Wicked. Like nobody cares. Nobody cares. Anyway, so I broke up with my boyfriend. I was manic for two weeks, for two months. I'm not manic anymore. Um, my biggest like thing right now is something quite interesting in the sense that I am now dealing with depression in the way that a neurotypical person would deal with depression in the sense that it is not chemically based. It is situationally based. Um, I'm not going to get into detail because I don't want to, um, but I am dealing with some pretty like serious medical <laughs> stuff right now. Um, that's really, really taking a toll on my mental health. Um, so this has nothing to do with any of my mental illnesses. None of my chemicals are imbalanced. Um, but everything that's going on is taking a toll on me mentally. And it's really interesting to be depressed in a normal person's way and just not want to leave the house and not want to talk to people and not want to eat or leave your bed um, just because of what's going on in your life and, and not because your serotonin levels are off. Um, so that's been the biggest struggle. These Specifically this week was horrendous. Uh, the week before I'm sure was horrific too, but I honestly don't remember because my memory is just kind of like a mess. But um, I've really been struggling with that. But luckily I haven't been using any maladaptive uh, coping mechanisms. Like I'm not like self-harming or anything. I'm not drinking. I'm not, I don't know, like sex isn't a thing that I, that's not like a coping mechanism, but I'm not like fucking the whole world or anything like that or, you know, whatever. Um, so I'm dealing with things in a healthy way. Like I go to therapy as usual. Um, but scale of one to 10, how am I doing? Oh, I don't know. I mean, some of these days this week in, in, in moments I was like literally at a one, I was just like not dealing um, but all things considered with everything medically that's going on, I don't know. I'd say I'm at like a four. I mean, you can see my skin. I'm not like the prettiest of all the boys in the world. My skin isn't as glowy as it normally is, you know. I'm not wearing makeup or anything, and I think I look pretty tired, but, um... Yeah, so I just wanted to kind of do a check-in. But yeah, I've I've really been struggling with like depression. Like I've never not wanted to leave the house for reasons of not like mental illness related depression cuz I've literally just wanted to like lay in my bed and not talk to anybody. That's how I felt these past couple days. And I just thought that I would make a video and talk to you guys because it's been a hot minute. Um, I am struggling with some other stuff. I'm struggling with like my eating disorder. That stuff is kind of cropping up a lot. That's not going very well. Um, almost had a panic attack in the grocery store. I think that might have been yesterday. I think that was yesterday. I almost had to leave. I like, ooh. luckily there was like a calm voice in my head that was like telling me to breathe and just calm down because I almost just like dropped my shit and like ran out of there because I just, I just like st started panicking. 
Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, but like fun story. We're going to end it on a fun story. <laughs> I think it's funny. Maybe you're watching this and you're like, oh my God, he's like falling apart. But I think it's funny. I literally walked into my therapist's office and I've been in therapy since I was 16. So it's been like a hot minute. I've never done this before. I literally like barged into my therapist's office and I was like, what is your yelling policy? And she just like looked at me and she was like, so whoever said mental illness, like, is not funny or, like, breakdowns or stress isn't funny, I feel was seriously wrong because looking back, that was pretty fucking funny because I literally just bust in there and, like, demanded an answer. Like, literally. And she was just like... No, like not a lot, like not, no yelling, no yelling at all. So hopefully I'll be okay is honestly all I can say. Cause I, yeah, that's all I can say <laughs> at this point, but I just wanted to check in cause it's been a minute so I hope you guys are all doing well um yeah all right bye guys